Welcome back to our journey through history's greatest inventions and the brilliant minds behind them. In our last episode, we marveled at John Fitch's pioneering 1787 invention, the paddle steamer, and how it revolutionized river travel and commerce. Today, we're fast forwarding just a few years to another groundbreaking innovation that would light up the world in a way never seen before. In 1800, a world where electricity was more a curiosity than a utility, an Italian physicist named Alessandro Volta made a discovery that would lay the foundation for the modern electrical world. Volta's invention? The very first electric battery. Imagine a world without batteries, no mobile phones, laptops, or even cars as we know them today. Volta's invention was about to change everything. Join me as we dive into the life of Alessandro Volta, explore the workings of his incredible invention, and understand how this marked the beginning of a new era in electrical science. So, grab your gear, and let's delve into the electrifying story of the voltaic pile. Alessandro Volta, a name synonymous with the dawn of electrical science, was born on February 18, 1745, in Como, a town in present-day Italy. His journey from a young curious mind to a pioneering physicist is a tale of intellect, passion, and discovery. Born into a noble family, Volta's early life was marked by a blend of privilege and tragedy. His family was of noble lineage, but not particularly wealthy. Tragically, he lost his father at the age of seven, an event that profoundly affected his early years. Volta's education began in Como, where he demonstrated an early aptitude for languages. Despite his noble background, Volta's family was not exceedingly wealthy, and his education was not as formal or extensive as one might expect for someone of his eventual stature in the scientific community. However, his inherent curiosity and intelligence propelled his self-education in the field of natural sciences. In his teenage years, Volta's interest in electricity was sparked by the works of other scientists like Benjamin Franklin. His fascination with the subject was mostly self-taught through extensive reading and personal experimentation. Volta's personal life is less documented than his professional achievements. However, it is known that he was deeply involved in his scientific pursuits and dedicated much of his life to his work. He did marry later in life and had children, but specific details about his family life remain relatively scarce in historical records. Professionally, Volta's career began as a professor of physics at the Royal School in Como in 1774. His early work involved studying atmospheric electricity. This position marked the start of his lifelong dedication to the study of electricity. In the years that followed, Volta engaged in extensive research and experimentation. He corresponded with leading scientists of the time and began to gain recognition for his contributions to the understanding of electricity. His investigations into atmospheric electricity and his development of more sensitive instruments to detect electric charge laid the groundwork for his later, more famous inventions. Before inventing the battery, Volta made several significant contributions to the field of electricity. One of his notable inventions was the electrophorus, a device that generated static electricity. Additionally, his research into the chemistry of gases was also groundbreaking. He identified methane and experimented with various gaseous mixtures, which further demonstrated his wide-ranging scientific interests. It was Volta's relentless pursuit of understanding the nature of electricity, along with his experimental ingenuity, that ultimately led him to invent the voltaic pile. This invention was a culmination of his life's work and passion for electrical science. Alessandro Volta's life story, especially his early years, paints a picture of a self-motivated and curious individual who rose to prominence through his passion for science and his contributions to the field of electricity. His early experiences and career set the stage for his monumental invention of the voltaic pile. Alessandro Volta, a name etched in the annals of science, revolutionized our understanding of electricity with his groundbreaking invention in 1800, the voltaic pile. This was not just any invention, it was the world's first electrical battery, a device that could produce a steady, continuous flow of electricity. Let's dive into the mechanics of this pioneering creation and understand how it fundamentally changed the world of science. At its core, the voltaic pile was elegantly simple yet ingenious. 
It consisted of a series of metal discs, specifically alternating discs of zinc and copper, stacked together. These discs were separated by pieces of cardboard or cloth, which were soaked in a saline solution, acting as an electrolyte. The essence of the voltaic pile's functionality lay in the electrochemical reaction between the metals and the electrolyte. When the zinc and copper discs were arranged in pairs, with the electrolyte-soaked material in between, a chemical reaction occurred. This reaction caused electrons to be transferred from one type of metal, zinc, to the other, copper, creating a flow of electrical energy. The greater the number of metal disc pairs, or cells, in the pile, the higher the voltage that the pile could produce. Each individual zinc-copper pair generated a small voltage, but when stacked, these voltages added up, allowing the pile to produce a greater total electrical force. To harness the electrical current, a wire or another conductor was attached to both ends of the pile, the top and the bottom. This completed the electrical circuit, allowing the flow of electricity from one end of the pile to the other. The continuous flow of electric current was a monumental achievement, as previous methods of generating electricity could only produce brief bursts. The voltaic pile was revolutionary because it offered a consistent and reliable source of electrical energy. Before its invention, electricity was mostly a curiosity, generated in short-lived sparks or shocks. Volta's battery made prolonged and steady experimentation with electricity possible, laying the foundation for the future of electrical engineering and technology. Initially, the voltaic pile was used for scientific experiments, demonstrating the power of electricity and its potential applications. It was crucial in proving that electricity was a form of energy that could be harnessed and controlled. The principles of the voltaic pile paved the way for the development of more sophisticated batteries and electrical devices, essentially birthing the field of electrochemistry. The invention of the voltaic pile in 1800 had a profound impact on Alessandro Volta's life, both professionally and in terms of his legacy. Here's an exploration of how this groundbreaking invention changed his life from the moment of its conception until his death. Invention of the voltaic pile not only marked a turning point in the field of electricity but also significantly altered the course of his own life. From its unveiling to the world until his death, Volta's journey was one marked by acclaim, recognition, and a lasting legacy. Upon revealing his invention in 1800, Volta immediately gained widespread recognition and accolades from the scientific community. His correspondence with the Royal Society in London, where he detailed the mechanics and potential of the voltaic pile, thrust him into the international spotlight. The reaction from fellow scientists and intellectuals was one of fascination and admiration. The voltaic pile was a clear, tangible demonstration of a steady flow of electricity, something that had never been achieved before. This invention established Volta as a leading figure in the field of electrical science. The years following his invention saw Volta showered with honors and recognition. In 1801, he was invited to Paris by Napoleon Bonaparte, who was highly interested in scientific advancements. Napoleon personally awarded Volta a gold medal and made him a count, an honor that affirmed his status in both the scientific world and society at large. Volta's academic career also flourished following his invention. He continued to receive numerous accolades and was respected by his peers for his contributions to science. His work influenced a generation of scientists and laid the groundwork for future advancements in electricity and electrochemistry. In his later years, Volta retired to his estate in Kamnago, a village near Como, where he continued to engage in scientific studies albeit at a less intensive pace. His reputation as the inventor of the first electrical battery remained a defining aspect of his identity. Volta's legacy was firmly cemented in the annals of science. His invention fundamentally changed how electricity was understood and utilized, paving the way for the modern electrical era. In recognition of his monumental contribution, the unit of electric potential was named the Volt in his honor. Alessandro Volta passed away on March 5, 1827, in his home in Camnago. His death was mourned by the scientific community and he was remembered as a pioneer who dramatically altered the landscape of scientific inquiry and application. Even after his death, 
Volta's influence endured. The principles of his voltaic pile are still foundational in the field of electrochemistry and his contributions continue to be celebrated in the scientific community. His invention laid the foundation for the batteries that power our world today, from small household devices to large-scale electrical applications. In conclusion, Alessandro Volta's life after the invention of the voltaic pile was marked by a surge of recognition and respect, cementing his status as a key figure in the history of science. His invention didn't just change the world, it forever altered the trajectory of his own life, from a scientist and inventor to a celebrated pioneer whose legacy endures to this day. Alessandro Volta's creation of the voltaic pile was not just a singular achievement, it was a catalyst that set off a chain reaction of innovation in multiple fields. This first true battery opened up new horizons in electricity, chemistry, and technology, leading to several significant inventions. One of the most immediate effects of Volta's invention was the facilitation of long-distance electric currents. This advancement was crucial in the development of the electric telegraph. Pioneers like Samuel Morse, who invented the Morse code and the telegraph system in the 1830s, relied on the principles established by Volta's battery to send electric signals over long distances, revolutionizing communication. Volta's invention also gave birth to the field of electrochemistry. Scientists like Michael Faraday were inspired by the voltaic pile to conduct experiments that led to the discovery of electromagnetic induction and laws of electrolysis. These discoveries laid the groundwork for the development of electric motors, generators, and a deeper understanding of chemical bonding. The principles of the voltaic pile directly influenced the development of more advanced batteries. In 1836, John Frederick Daniel invented the Daniel cell, which was a more stable and efficient battery. This invention was crucial in powering the early telegraph networks. Later, in 1859, Gaston Planté developed the lead acid battery, the first rechargeable battery, which is still used in cars today. Electrical batteries also found applications in medicine. The ability to generate a steady electric current led to early experiments in bioelectricity and electrotherapy. These experiments laid the foundation for modern medical technologies such as electrocardiograms, ECGs, and neurological studies. In the long term, Volta's invention contributed to the development of electric lighting and power generation. The understanding of steady electric currents led to the creation of incandescent light bulbs by Thomas Edison and others, fundamentally changing the way we light our homes and cities. It also paved the way for the development of larger-scale electric generators that power our modern electrical grid. In summary, the invention of the voltaic pile by Alessandro Volta was a seminal moment in history, sparking a series of innovations that shaped the modern world. From revolutionizing communication with the telegraph to laying the foundations for today's battery technologies and electrical utilities, the impact of Volta's invention is immeasurable and continues to be felt in various facets of our daily lives. As we conclude our journey with Alessandro Volta and his revolutionary voltaic pile, we see how one invention can light up the path of progress. Volta's legacy in electricity is undeniable, but now, we turn to a different kind of illumination. In our next episode, we'll explore the illuminating story of William Murdoch and his 1807 invention of gaslighting. This innovation brought light to the dark streets and homes of the 19th century, transforming night into an extension of the day. Murdoch's gaslighting was a game-changer, setting the stage for modern urban life. Join me next time to discover how gaslighting brightened our world in ways never seen before. Until then, keep the flame of curiosity burning bright. See you in the next episode.